Hey everyone, welcome to my MIA update number two. Today I just wanted to talk about what I've been doing for the past two weeks, ever since I updated or posted my first update video. Um, I've been tracking what I've been doing using a little Spanish immersion tracker that I made here. Um, this is something I'd never actually done before. So in my two and a half years of language learning, I never really thought about tracking. I just, you know, I kind of wanted to do it the lazy way, but I think tracking actually helps motivate you in a sense that you can see where you started and where you're going. And you can also have a goal like I put over here, which I'll talk about soon. And you can track how much progress you've made towards a goal, which I think is very motivating. It's like, you know, a language learning RPG or something like that. So I just wanted to go over the little um, tiles that I made here and then I'll show you a little tip on how to track accurately uh, from YouTube. So starting with what I have on the immersion tracker itself, I'm tracking active immersion, first of all. This is one of the main things I wanted to track ever since I you know, kind of decided to try and go all in with the immersion method here. Um, so with the active immersion time, I've just, you know, been tracking what I've been watching, you know, YouTube, Netflix, whatever, just something that I could sit down and pay 100% attention to, which and definitely is one of the most important aspects of language learning, um, active immersion and spending time focused 100% with the language. So here's a little column, you know, what I've been doing for the past two weeks on the reading here, um, I'm tracking reading pages. I feel that pages are probably the, like the most not accurate. You know, when people say I track how many books I've read, that's good. But you know, each book kind of varies in the same sense. Each page kind of varies on how many words are in it, um, the difficulty of the pages, but a page I think is a more reasonable unit of measurement to track towards, you know, gaining uh, language fluency because it's small enough to where it it increases the accuracy the precision of you know the amount of time you spent with the language tracking that instead of books because books you know obviously change from author to author right but pages you know it can be from news articles whatever books yada yada uh, I think pages you know are a good way to track so in terms of pages for every news article, I'll, I'll go on BBC Mundo and I'll, and I'll read the news articles on there. Most of them are relatively short. I finish them within two to three minutes. So I'll track that as one page, no matter how many words it has. You know, if I finish it really quick, one page. If it takes a little bit longer, two to three pages. But most articles aren't like that. There are some articles that are pretty long, but two to three pages is how I'll track it. And then, you know, from a book. So I bought Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl in Spanish. El Hombre en Busca de Sentido, I think is what it's called. So I've been tracking the pages I've read. Unfortunately, that's on Kindle. So again, it's not as accurate because Kindle has a location, uh, you know, setting. It, it talks or it shows you the location, which refers to the Kindle settings. I don't know exactly how they do it. So it doesn't tell you the page number or anything like that. Um, either way, I googled on YouTube and I found that other people had the same problem of tracking page numbers. And they recommended that you divide the location by 16.9. And that'll give you a rough estimate of how many pages you've read. And like I said before, every page varies in terms of how many words are on it. But there's also a good average amount, right? Uh, in terms of how many words are on a page on every book. I, I believe it's two to 300 words usually. So, you know, that's how I track it. You know, so if, for example, if I start on pay or on location 100 and I end up on location 300, uh, by the time I'm done reading, I subtract 100 from 300. There's a difference of 200 and then divide that 200 by 16.9. It sounds unnecessarily complicated. It's really not. You just kind of want to find how many pages you've read. So divided by 16.9 if you're on Kindle, a little tip there that I found. And yeah, I've been trying to hit 40 pages, have not hit anywhere close to that, but that's because, you know, I haven't been finding too interesting content and let's be honest, I've been a little bit lazy with this. I've been trying to you know, work on other hobbies and stuff. So as for now, passive uh, listening estimates, I'm not focusing on, but I am tracking. I've only got an hour and 30 minutes. I, I kind of 
prefer to passive listening as something that I do in the car or, you know, maybe I'm at the gym or something and I'll, I'll listen to something in Spanish. I know, you know, when you're there, you can't put 100% effort or, you know, concentration in what you're doing. There's a lot of things going on. But, if, you know, I only track active immersion as what I'm doing at home, just sitting in my chair watching, putting 100% concentration. There's nothing else but, you know, watching the TV show and trying to understand what's going on. As for cards created, um, these are sentence mining cards that, you know, I'll mine from news articles. A lot of my sources are from the BBC Mundo news articles because I find that they're actually very easy to read for me. I'm about between 95 and 99% comprehension on a lot of the articles there, which surprised the hell out of me. Um, you'll see that some days, you know, I'll mine zero, zero, and then others 10, 10, 10, but a lot of these zero days were lazy days, so. This next column is cards reviewed. Uh, this just refers to if I've reviewed my Anki cards for the day. Uh, I have two decks, one which was a pre-made sense deck, and the other, well, I have three decks actually. My sense mining deck, a pre-made sense deck, and then there's one from, I think it's a Webster's um, Spanish dictionary with example sentences, which is pretty advanced actually, and has a lot of nice words I haven't come across before. So I'm learning anywhere between uh, I think it's 30, 30 cards per day, but the new words are around 10, 10 or so, because those new cards per day are, some of them are just conjugations. I've been using Morphan to go with them. So it's a little bit complicated, but around 10 new words a day, something like that. As for this notes column, I'm just writing, um, little, you know, things that happen. So for example, here on the 13th, I had an hour phone call. As part of my active immersion time here and on the 15th is when I made my first MIA Spanish YouTube video so it's pretty useful I haven't had anything too eventful yet uh, but I'll keep updating it. it's not really important but it's just if I wanted to make a note uh, I think the most important part is over here the running totals or at least the most motivating part for me because this has the running total from when I started to what I did. For, so for example, the active immersion time, I have 21 hours and 25 minutes in the past, about two, two and a half weeks here. Well, I think it's averaging an hour a day or something like that, which isn't too bad. Uh, I wanted to obviously do more. I'm trying to hit three hours a day. So, uh, and then have the goal by the end of the year, I'm trying to hit by January 1st, 2021. I want to hit 700 hours of active immersion time. 9,300 pages read and 2,320 new cards created. And below that, I have the percentage to which I'm heading towards the goal. So I'm only around 3% of the way to 700 hours worth of active immersion time. Only 0.4% of the pages I want to read and only about 1% of the cards I want to create. It. But it's pretty useful. It's been helping me keep track of, you know, what's going on. And obviously, when I start ramping up, here shortly it's going to increase faster and i hope to you know make these videos every two weeks or so maybe one week if i really start hitting my stride um but two weeks for now i think is a good unit of time uh, just you know two videos a month and then maybe i'll make another video just talking about my experiences or whatever anything like that so yeah that was it for the spanish immersion tracker um after this i'm going to add a little clip of how i track my immersion on youtube all right, ciao for now. Okay, so go ahead and open up your YouTube on your phone. Click on your profile picture on the right top corner. It'll pull up this screen. I'm on the iPhone, so it should look like this. And you'll see that the third option from the top is called Time Watched. So just go ahead and click on that. From there, it'll give you a running weekly average for seven days. It doesn't start Sunday to Monday or anything. It just starts for seven days so it could be tuesday and it'll show you starting monday something like that right um it'll give you how much you've watched today and how much you've watched over the last seven days total cumulative and your daily average so it's a useful tool and uh, i hope it uh it's useful for you guys and let me know what you think thanks